What's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to be building a minimalist print on demand store using Hostinger's AI website builder. We're going for that clean, modern look, simple backgrounds, neutral colors, and a layout that really makes your product stand out. Even if you're planning a different kind of store, you can still follow along and end up with a sleek, fully functional site by the end of this tutorial. If you're still deciding on which web host to use, I definitely recommend Hostinger. They make the whole setup process super easy and you'll see exactly what I mean once we get started. Now, this video is sponsored by my friends over at Hostinger, and I've been using them and making videos about their platform long before they ever reached out to sponsor anything. They've always been super reliable to me, so it's pretty cool to finally make it official. All right, so once you're logged into Hostinger, you'll land on the home dashboard. From here, go down to the websites, which you'll find right under the home tab. Once that opens up, click add website and you're gonna see four options pop up. What we want is the Hostinger website builder. On the next page, we're going to tell the AI what kind of site we want to make. This part's fun because it really decides what the builder creates for you. Now, down here, I've already have something written, but I'll explain why I wrote it this way. You'll notice the AI added a store element to my site automatically, and that's because in my prompt, I said print on demand store, that sells whatever I'm planning to sell. So by including that phrase, the AI knows I'm making a store and that I'll need e-commerce features. In the rest of the prompt, I wrote that I want a clean, modern aesthetic with neutral tones like beige, white, and soft gray. And that lets it know exactly what kind of vibe I'm going for so it doesn't throw in any weird colors or abstract stuff. I also mentioned simple typography, lots of white space and elegant product displays that basically repeats the same idea, just with a little more detail on the type of font and layout that I actually want. When I say elegant product displays, that just means I want a nice placeholder images that look premium. We can replace them later if we want, but it helps the AI start off with the right kind of look. Now, I also told it that the design should feel calm and premium, similar to brands like Urban Outfitters or Everlane, that gives it a sense of the overall tone. And right below that, I asked it to include sections for featured collections, bestsellers, and customer reviews. These are things we could add manually, but just asking the AI to include them now saves us time later. Once all that's ready, just name your brand at the bottom and click Create Website. Give it a few seconds and it'll generate your site. Once it's done, you'll see a live preview that you can scroll through. The site's interactive, so you can check out every page and see how it looks. If you don't like what the AI made, just click create again in the top left and try a new description. I actually like what mine came up with, even though the photos aren't what I'm going to end up using. Everything else looks good, so we'll leave it as is and just click continue. Now, we're inside the Hostinger's AI dashboard. It might look like a lot at first, but once we go through it, you'll see it's super straightforward. Before adding our print-on-demand products, let's take a quick tour. Make your way to the top right and click Edit Site. So at the top of the site is the header, where our menu goes, and at the bottom is the footer, where we'll put our policies, contact info, and social links. Everything in between is the main content. To add new stuff, go up to Elements and just drag and drop what you need. You can't drop elements anywhere you want because it sticks to a grid, but you still got plenty of control. You can also delete or edit any block by clicking it and typing whatever you want. We're gonna go over the specific settings later, but just to get familiar, the pages section lets you add and manage pages and the main menu. Styles are where you can change your colors, your fonts, buttons, and your animations. The AI tools tab, it does have extra features, though many of them use credits, so we're not gonna bother with those today. The store tab is where everything related to your shop lives, and SEO is for optimizing your site, but we'll skip that for now since it's a bit more advanced. Now, if you wanna add new sections, click Add Section. You can either have the AI generate one based on your description or choose from templates. I usually pick the blank section so I can build things manually or the online store when I'm added product displays. You can also adjust section height to control spacing, which does come in pretty handy later on. Now, let's go back to the hosting or dashboard. In the top left, click Manage Store. 
And that way we can install Printful and start adding some products. Scroll down to integrations and you'll see Printful right at the top. Click, get started. If you've already logged into your Printful account, Hostinger will detect it and sync automatically. If you don't have one yet, you'll just make one now. Accept the terms, go through the setup questions and authorize access. Once that's done, you're gonna be brought back to Hostinger's dashboard where you'll see Printful under integrations. Click on create product and you'll be taken straight into Printful's catalog. From here, choose what you want to sell. For example, men's clothing and browse through everything available. Let's pick a unisex classic tee. On the product page, you'll see sample images, models, available colors, and the base price. If a color has a line through it, that means it's unavailable. And when you're ready, just click start designing. You'll start by picking a printing method. You can choose between printing or embroidery. Embroidery is higher quality, but printing gives you more color options. Then you're gonna pick your product colors. Only the checked ones will appear in your store and then select your sizes. If you already have a design, upload it to Printful's library. After accepting the terms, you can also play around with text by picking a font combination and typing something in. Change the color if needed. I'll just type something random like, my store is great, just to show you how it works. You can delete anything you don't like using the X button. Now under clip art, you'll find free designs that you can use and any marked premium can't be used unless you have Printful Premium. So for this tutorial, I'll use the Apple a Day design and drag it onto the shirt. You can resize it, reposition it, or even make it repeat, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. You can also add designs to different parts of the product, like the back, but keep in mind that each print area adds to the cost. When you're happy with the design, click Continue. Now choose your mockups. These are the photos that will appear in your store. You can only pick one mockup set, so choose whichever gallery matches your style. Once you've chosen, click continue again. And don't worry about the product title or description yet, since we'll edit those later in Hostinger. You'll then see pricing for product variants. You can adjust prices here or do it later, which is what I'm going to do. Save the product and give it a few seconds to sync. Now, once that's done, go back to the hosting or dashboard and you'll see a confirmation that your first product has been added. Go to products, find the unisex classic T and delete all the AI placeholders that were automatically generated earlier. Open the T and you're gonna see your gallery and all of your product info. You'll also see a button that says generate product details. You can use it, but I'd recommend editing whatever it gives you because it's usually just too generic. Now. Add your own product title, maybe something like Classic T. For the subtitle, you can add something catchy like, I don't know, retro inspired T. The ribbon is for tags like on sale or new arrival. Paste in your description or write your own. The built-in AI writer can rephrase it or clean it up for you, but always give it a personal touch so it doesn't sound robotic. Scroll down and you're gonna see extra info sections for things like material or sizing. Add whatever details matters for your customers. You'll also see the colors and the size options you added back in Printful. You can't edit those here, so make sure to set them up properly over there. In the pricing section, you can just adjust your product prices by clicking the box and typing a new value. The smaller box next to it is for the sale price. So if you set the main price to 10 bucks and the sale price to five, it will display as a 50% off discount. You can also go back up to your ribbon and write something like on sale to highlight it. Keep related products checked so shoppers can discover more items. You can even rename the heading to something like you might also like. Once you look everything over, well, save your changes. Now, I already went ahead and added a few more products just to save time, but I used the same exact process you just saw, so you didn't miss anything. Next, we're gonna click on categories on the left side you'll see one called all products, which you can keep. Click add category to make your own. I'll start with one called men's and just assign a few products. Some are unisex, but that's fine. Save it and then add another called women's and assigned products as well. Save again. 
Now, before we move on to the next steps, if you want to check out Hostinger for yourself, I'll put a direct link to their site in the description. And you can even use my coupon code site starters for an additional 10% off on top of any deals available right now. Just a quick heads up though, the link is affiliated. So if you do use it, we may earn a small commission that really helps support the channel. Now that we've got products and categories ready, click edit in the top right corner. Let's start from the top. So click the edit header. You can adjust spacing, layout, and where the menu items sit. For the logo, click image, then replace image and upload your own file. You can resize it right here. The style tab lets you change background color, font, and text color. You can also enable a transparent header, but make sure your text still stands out. Next, we'll add our new categories to the menu. Go to pages, click add page, select online store, and then choose product list. Name it men's and click save and repeat the same for the women's. If you ever want to add a page that doesn't appear in the menu, you can do that. Now just create an empty page, name it and click hide page. Hidden pages show up under hidden from navigation. You can delete any page by clicking settings and selecting delete. Now let's work on the hero section. Delete the one that's already there and add a new one. Change the background to an image. Upload something from your computer and click select. Now, if the background scrolls weirdly, toggle fixed background. You can also adjust overlay opacity to make the text easier to read. Next, you're going to click on the text block and change the heading color to white. Type something like change your style. Keep the subtext if you like it and edit the button to say see more. You can link it to your shop page or any specific collection that you want. You can also change how the button looks and even add a little animation. Now for the next section, delete what's there and add a product categories section. Replace the placeholder images the same way you did for the header image. Edit the text like before and link each button to its category page. Now for the left one, link it to the men's and write something like, check out our collection for the boys. For the right one, Link it to the women's and write something like, this is for the ladies. Add short descriptions underneath, like find something that fits your style or dress for comfort. If something looks out of place, you can drag and align it using the grid lines. Shrink the section height to clean up spacing. Click preview at the top to test your buttons and make sure that they do lead to the correct pages. Next, scroll down to continue editing the home page. Now I deleted the product list earlier because we're replacing it with something custom. Now, add a blank section, and then drag in a heading element and type dress cool and look cooler. Make the text larger, bold it, and adjust your spacing. Below that, add another online store product list with a single row layout. Now, let's filter it in to show hoodies and sweatshirts. Click the edit section, then filters. If you don't already have a hoodies category, open the store tab, go to categories, Click Add Category and name it Hoodies. Assign the right products and click Save. Go back to Filters, select Hoodies, and it'll update instantly. You can tweak the layout too. Stretch the full width if you want it to fill the screen. Change how the products are aligned. Crop images, round corners, and pick how many columns show up at once. I usually leave it stretched and I just like it very clean. And that's all we're gonna do for the home page. It already looks much better and we barely did anything complicated. We just plugged our content into the existing templates and customized just a few sections. That's the beauty of this builder. You get flexibility without the headache. Now let's handle the behind the scenes setup. So go to the store, scroll down and click settings. First, go to payments. This is where you connect your payment method. Depending on where you live, you're going to see different options. If you're in the US, Stripe is probably the best pick since it supports the most methods. I can't show you the setup since I already have it connected to another store, but the process is very simple. Click connect, create or log into your Stripe account, fill out the details, and it will sync automatically. Once approved, your store will be ready to accept payments. Next, scroll down to shipping. Click create zone and name it something like test zone. Choose your country, for example, the United States and select which states you want to include. Save it, then click the three dots under shipping options and choose edit. Name it, set your shipping rate, maybe $2 and click save again. You can add as many zones as you need. 
Now below that is the checkout. Here you can add your privacy and policy links. I recommend just checking the boxes to display them during checkout. To make the policy page, exit settings and go up to pages, click add page, pick new empty page and name it policy. Hide it so it doesn't appear on your main menu. Now add a text element and paste your policy text inside. Resize the text block to fit the width of the page. Now, this is just a placeholder, so make sure you research and write proper policies for your store later. Now, go to the policy page settings, copy the page URL, and then go back up to the store. Open settings, scroll to privacy policy, and then paste the link there. If you want to set up email marketing, check the box that lets customers subscribe during checkout. You can also ask for a phone number, but I would just leave it optional to keep the checkout process just very smooth. And that's pretty much everything for today's build. Once you're ready to launch, go to the top right and click go live. It's going to ask you if you want to publish with a temporary domain, which is fine for now. You can connect your own domain later on. After publishing, you'll see exactly what your site looks like to customers. You won't be able to check out unless Stripe is connected, but once it is, everything will work perfectly. And that wraps up the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And just a quick reminder, if you're just browsing around and haven't tried hosting or yet, you can use my code site starters in the description to get 10% off of their plans. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.